Hey Sarah, so we're here at the inspection. We're probably 90% complete. Uh, the inspector is under the house right now, so I was going to walk through and do a video of everything but the underside of the house. Um, and then I'll do another short video with the inspector and he can discuss anything that he might find underneath. Um, so we found a couple of, of issues, um, one of which, and I didn't see this as, as noticeably. I know I mentioned it in the other video, but I didn't realize there was as much of this paint touch-up spots as you see. Um, and there's some more over here. And they used a paint that obviously doesn't match. I think it's more pronounced in the pictures than it is on the wall. Um, but it is an issue. And uh, so if you didn't see this in the previous video, I want to make sure that you see it now. Um, and there's a couple spots in the closets, in the back wall of the closets upstairs that um, it, it are, is pretty pronounced and you'll see in a minute when I go upstairs. So in the kitchen, everything looked good with the exception of the dishwasher. Um, we had a leak uh, and we've since cleaned it up, but that's something obviously that we're going to ask the sellers to take care of. Um, I'm a little bit concerned with how the real estate market is that getting sellers to do any kind of repairs has been difficult. Um, this is the crawl space access under the house. That's the lid for it. Um, and, uh, and so the inspector is underneath there right now. Um, he did find under the house a number of cans of paint. Um, and they just have them stored down there. Uh, my inclination is going to be to ask the sellers to get rid of it. Usually old paint uh, it is just that old paint. Um, nothing remarkable in this bathroom. I'm just kind of videoing. Uh, so anyway, so significant issues. We've got uh, a dishwasher leak which typically means replace the dishwasher. Here's some more of those touch-ups. This was back behind the, the washer dryer, um, but there's some out here on this wall um, that are very apparent. Uh, and like I say, with that, when the house was closed up, when I took the video, I remember making a comment about those marks somewhere, but I didn't realize there was quite as many of them as there are. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and head upstairs. Uh, the uh, Up in the attic, um, the inspector found some discoloration on the underside of the plywood in the attic, dark discoloration. That can be, I don't think it is, but that can be a sign of mildew or mold. Um, and so that's something we're going to ask the sellers to have addressed. Um, I just did this with a house here in Yelm about a month ago. It was one of my listings, so my seller had to deal with it. Uh, and it was about $1,100, I think. And what they do, they have a, a solution they go up there with, and, it, and they clean it, and it looks makes the plywood look like brand new plywood fresh out of the trees. So, anyhow, everything looks pretty good in here. There's another one of those touch-ups. So, oh, and I was going to show you the closet where it's really pronounced. Um, yeah. And the, and the, the picture the inspector took is much more pronounced than that. And these people did, I know exactly what happened. They did this and they had the curtain shut, the lights turned down, whatever, and didn't realize that it wasn't a good match. Um, the can may say it's a match. But if the paint on the wall has faded and then you put fresh paint on top of it, uh, a lot of times you run into an issue like that. Um, so anyway, we've got the dishwasher. We've got the discoloration in the attic. Um, and those are the, the only two real significant things. Um, we uh, And I'm still just kind of, I know you probably enjoy looking at the videos, so I'm just kind of walking around. Um, and then we'll see if he finds anything under the house. Uh, but everything else looked good. The toilets are good. The floors are all solid. No leaking. Uh, he uses an electronic moisture detector um, to test for, for moisture under the toilets and stuff like that. Um, so, and I'm just kind of rambling now and waiting for him to come out from under the house. But I would say that the biggest issue is the dishwasher, the discoloration in the attic, um, and then I don't think we're going to get these people to paint. Uh, but um, you're probably going to want to do some painting, um, at least here in the living room, dining room. And you can see, I don't know if you can see that, if you get it, but if you stand 
90 degrees to it, you can't really see it. If you come at an angle, you can kind of see it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and there's some on this wall here. Again, if you get, you got to kind of get the light right and get it at an angle to see it. Um, yeah, there, you can really see it. And I can see it on my camera, but I can barely see it on the wall. So, um, so anyway, you're probably going to want to do some painting, at least here in the living room, dining room to deal with this stuff. Uh, but, um, anyway, I'm going to end this video and, uh, I'm going to go out in the back real quick and let, uh, let George, our inspector kind of get ready to do the out briefing and I'll take another few shots here in the backyard. The roof all look great. Siding looks good. Cherry trees look good. And I don't know if these are fruiting or just flowering cherries, but I'm guessing they probably are fruiting. So, and I don't think when I took the first video of the house that I walked back here and, and did this. So. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video and head in, and then I'm going to do a quick video with George, the inspector, uh, and uh, we will get his report tomorrow, um, and at some point tomorrow, maybe later in the day, we'll want to get on the phone and go over it. I will send you uh, a document for signature, and we have to get that document back to the sellers before Wednesday, um, or by Wednesday, so I'd really like to get it to them tomorrow night. Uh, I will talk to you soon, sir. Thank you. Bye.